Okay, ladies and germs, here's your reminder. If you think the WWE is the only game in town, then... <laughs> Jesus Christ, the United Nations, was created to become the housing for the Illuminati Great Conspiracy. This video has been brought to you by the late Richard Dawson, who alongside myself remind you of the following. Don't act like a bitch. Don't steal. thing about raising a litter of puppies you have to clean up after them all the time you have to feed them when they run out of food you have to water them you have to love them it is absolutely critical and whether we like it or not, that is a fact of life. Because that's the way life works. Like it or not. You know you got food down there, right boys? You got food down there, right? Go ahead and eat some. I got, I got you some. It's right there, right there in your bowl, left side. You got it, man. Right? Right, I know, buddy. I know. Just looking for some of that attention, right? Yeah, I know what you're looking for. Uh, you want a dog biscuit, don't you? Yeah, man. I'll get you a dog biscuit. I'll get you one as well. Being so patient with me today. Yeah. Hey. Come on, man. 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 Come you take them out to pee in crap when they need to pee in crap. Because you're not on your own time, you're on theirs. You know? That's how important they are. You gotta take care of them, you gotta feed them, you gotta water them, you gotta take them out for bathroom breaks and walks. You gotta buy them food. You gotta fill up their water jugs when you need it. Really simple stuff, really. It's, it's not that difficult. You know? So to all you people out there who say that it's difficult to take care of a dog and feed it and water it, just think. If it's easy for someone like myself, an autist who's mentally ill, to take care of something like that, to take care of a few dogs, what's stopping you? What's your excuse? Yeah. Because you got to take care of these buddies somehow, right? you got to take care of them somehow. You give them food, you give them water, take them out for walks, let them use the bathroom outside, and, you know, keep them happy and healthy. Calm them down when they're ornery and stuff. It's really not that difficult. It's just that easy. You know, treat them like you would yourself. You know, treat them like you would, say, a good friend of yours, you know, treat them like that, treat them with love, with compassion, it's, it's not that difficult, people, 
I mean, listen to me. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? If you don't, go see a doctor. Seriously, you need to see one. If you don't know how to take care of a dog, don't own one. Seriously, it takes a lot of time, a lot of money. So that's pretty much it. See this, you guys? This is a freaking litter pack, right? Hoi! You know, it's just stuff like that. You know, nothing really all that new, but you get it. I'm not even gonna tell you if you know what I mean, but you you get it, right? You know, every once, every three and a half days or so around this time, I find myself in this habitual sort out some shite Tuesday or Sunday, whatever the hell the day this is. It's Sunday currently, you know, and... I know that I haven't necessarily uploaded a webisode of Living the God Light in a few months. That's gonna change with this one! Yeah! That's gonna change with this one. By the way, by the way, when you're when you're cleaning a litter box out, you either keep it 100 and you do it right. Or you keep it zero and you don't do it at all. You know, they always tell me, if you want something done, do it yourself. Pretty straightforward, right? Wrong! No, I'm, I'm just kidding, that's right. Snooping is usual, I see! Uh, no. I'm just gonna go with that. <laughs> also important to remember, people. When it's time to change the litter pad, you're gonna get one of the pivots.
You see what I mean, bit? No, no, it's just, that's my old man voice. Fuck me. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is, you gotta make sure they have food and all that shiznit. You gotta make sure that you change the pee pad, kind of like what I'm gonna show to you now. Take a look, right? See? Dirty pee pad, right? Right. What do you see what happens when I change this bad boy? Right? Right. And bing, bang, boom, happy motherfucking new year. And you got, oh, by the way, I swear in this video, just want to let you, I swear in all my videos, to hell with it. But here you have a nice, fresh litter pad. In the best of frick I find. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, seriously, it'll look for yourself. Dirty pee pad out, clean pee pad in. Easiest pie! And I'm not talking about 3.14, etc., etc., etc. Hey, wanna go get some chicken? Ah! Always make sure not to crap out and. Oh, by the way, you gotta make sure they have food in there. I'm gonna show it to you now. All right, kiddies! Who wants some of that motherfucking food, eh? Yeah! Woohoo! Gotta get to some of that food, right? Let's get to some of that food. Hey! We got some. Hey! That's what we're talking about, man. Yeah? Oh, be sure that they have water, too. Not as dirty as that, but you get what I'm saying. I mean, point proven, right? Right. Let's move on! Look, I made a shit on the ground! Well, go clean it up then! Alright. Bottom line, it is so incredibly simple. And yet, it takes so much time and so much money just to take care of an animal, right? Okay. So in this case, you learned how to take care of a cat, right? Um, basically, there were two other particular clips that I was going to upload from my smartphone that were supposedly loaded onto my stash, but never officially loaded to my stash because it took too damn load processing the video. The bottom line is this. If you're going to clean out a litter pad, if you're going to clean out a litter pad, clean it out, not by using your hands, but by using either a really small cat-sized scooper or a few sheets of paper towels or something like that, right? You do get what I'm saying, don't you? Please leave a message at the... <laughs> anyway, the point I'm trying to make is so simple. You treat a cat just like you would a dog or a frog or a cat on a log or a bog on a log or a rat or a bat, stuff like that, right? It is so simple. And yet, there are so many people out there that are just not capable mentally of raising an animal because they don't have a bunch of patience which they have to have they have to have a bunch of patience they have to have a bunch of time they have to have a bunch of money at their disposal ready to dish out and the only caveat to that is in almost any circumstance you're not going to get your money back for raising an animal that's money you invest into an animal knowing that this is the same amount of money you won't get back. But at the end of the day, it's worth it because that's what money is for. You pay to raise an animal for some 10 years, depending on what, what breed it is or what kind it is, you know. It could be anything, really. You could raise a plant the same way, just, well, except for the taking out of the restroom outside when you take a dog out, tr plants don't get treated like that. Instead, you water them and stuff like that, right? And then, of course, when you clean out the litter box, you gotta change the pee pad and stuff like that. We went over that, basically. But anyway, 
Let's move on to the next motherfucking topic. You know, people, it takes a lot of time, a lot of green, a lot of patience, and a lot of sanity to keep a house from folding or foreclosing upon itself or whatever. And it's also important to know that when you're taking care of a house, you've got to keep it clean and you've got to get it as clean as you can every single time. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Of course there isn't. But when you're taking care of a house and you're trying to keep it clean, it is always important to know that when you're trying to keep house and you're trying to clean, you got to make do with what you have and you've got to clean the son of a bitch. You got to make it clean, you got to make it work, you got to do your laundry, you got to be able to know how to use a washer and a dryer, you got to know how to do certain things and just let them all come about in that particular direction and that light. You got to be able to learn that stuff. It's really not that hard. Even those who are mentally retarded can do it. And these people are the smart ones. Those who are selectively retarded think that they're not, so they think that they can do no wrong, but everything that comes out of their mouth is wrong. So that's the difference between mental and selective retardation, respectively. At least when you're mentally retarded, at least you know, despite your lack of intelligence, that you could easily make up for it in common sense, and you usually do. That's the greatest thing about being mentally retarded. You have a lot of common sense and you know how to use it. And I knew quite a few people who were that way. I know personally. I lived with them for some time. And there's some of the most talented people out there in some cases. You know, like, like that one guy who became a meme overnight. You know that one and the two and the thing thong potato or something you know that guy became a meme overnight but this guy was very very talented in what he does and who can forget peter stevens the guy who stood up to an entire congress and told them that his life was worth living the greatest argument you could possibly make against a corrupt state of politicians is to tell them that you are someone with a mental ailment and that your life is worth living. That's the greatest, most effective argument that one can possibly make. And I know this wholeheartedly. I'm living proof of that. Oh, then you gotta make sure that you clean your windows every now and then. You gotta clean your bathrooms too. You gotta do that. Sometimes you have to have a plumber come over to check a leaky faucet or a faucet that won't stop dripping. And a recent case that I was witness to, the hot water wasn't going to work without all that water dripping into the bottom of the sink, below the sink actually. And then, of course, it would cost like $150 to get that replaced. Or some stuff like that, or whatever. But, you gotta do stuff like that sometimes, and you gotta be able to know how to cook your own food. Even toasting your own food is great. And, you know, you gotta learn how to toast your food, you gotta learn how to cook your food in an oven or on a stove, or in a microwave. The ancient people and the cavemen of the time knew how to cook their own food. Most people in this day and age don't anymore, and it's actually kind of sad. It is, legitimately. It is very sad. But then again, these people vote Democrat all the time, and they don't really know right from wrong anyway, so it kind of figures itself out. 
basically what I'm saying at the end of this is something so simple that is so easy to carry on that quite frankly if you didn't know this you'd be a blithering freaking idiot and yet at the same exact time same exact time you would have to consider with everything that happens with everything that occurs that there is always going to be the risk of someone that you either know as a friend or someone that you trust as a housekeeper stealing from you there's always going to be that risk when you hire someone to help you clean house when you're not there and I know this because I've seen many examples of this play out throughout my life I know oh then you gotta then you gotta be able to understand how to pay bills and basically you gotta have a lot of green you gotta have so much money in paper form to be able to pay off those bills and if you can't do that then of course you're gonna be stuck on the street somewhere but paper money is worthless anyway and we all know that so yeah that's what house sitting is about might as well just say that I don't have anything against the people of McDonald's. I think they're very fine people, very respectful people, and I love them all, but... Oh, by the way, I used to work there. Um, since McDonald's foods are full of GMOs and toxins and radioactive poison, please, for the love of God, don't eat at McDonald's, okay? Don't eat there. <laughs> by the way, I like Ronald McDonald no homo. As a friend. As a friend, I'd say. As a friend. But... If you're going to eat at a fast food restaurant, I recommend Wendy's because there's a mascot who's a woman with red pigtails. I believe she's of age, I would think. But seriously, if you're going to eat at a fast food restaurant, go to Wendy's. No disrespect to you, Ronald McDonald. I like you, man. You're good people. I just, the food is just, it's, it's poison, okay? Please don't take it the wrong way. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Dell with it. Let's just move on because we're going to get this disaster of an episode over with anyway about 15 minutes or however the hell long it takes and now for some bonus material okay want to stop this episode of living the god life on a good note well i got some great news and i got some pretty bad news for you you can own gold right now that's the good news the bad news is that it costs thirteen hundred and forty dollars an ounce alright listen to me now a pound of gold at thirteen hundred and forty dollars an ounce you you just gotta believe me is basically the equivalent of what a new car would cost fresh off the lot. $21,440 for a pound of gold at $1,340 an ounce. In comparison, I weigh roughly 170 pounds. So, if I were made entirely of gold I would be worth three million six hundred and forty four thousand eight hundred dollars worth of gold at thirteen hundred and forty dollars an ounce now here's where this gets really 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 screwed up here there are 20 million tons of unclaimed gold scattered across the ocean floors all over the world right now. A ton of gold. 2,000 pounds of gold at $1,340 an ounce is 
20 million tons of gold at $1340 an ounce. You better get ready cuz this is going to this is really going to blow your mind. I'm 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 afraid to even read this number. Oh. At $1340 an ounce. 20 million tons of gold. Keep in mind, a ton is 2,000 pounds. 20 million tons of gold at $1,340 an ounce is $857 trillion, $600 billion. No, I did not say this wrong. No, I did not stutter. That is how much money in gold is scattered across the ocean's floors all over the planet. And all of it is unclaimed. Now, as you may or may not know, America is $22 trillion in the red, in debt, in the shitter. So, in order to cure ourselves of this debt, we would have to find nearly 39 tons of gold. 39 tons of gold from what I can tell and I can't tell much and not even that I'm sorry to say would, would cover it so you think Gold being $1,340 an ounce. Do you realize that in order for us to get out of this debt that we're in, we would need to find and I know I'm probably just I think I might have underestimated this wholeheartedly we would need to find about 3,898 tons of gold or something along those lines because I don't I don't really know. I'm just one man. I don't know. You can look it up yourself. Either way, it's still a lot of stuff to find, and I can tell you that wholeheartedly. You understand? Do you guys understand now? Do you get it? Do you get it? It is so much it is so much gold that we would have to find so much that we would have to find would you would you believe me if I told you all this be honest with me would you believe me probably not
It's just really, really crazy, just, just knowing all this stuff. But anyway, if you learned something new today, then guess what? Congratulations. See you next time. I tried to calculate earlier in this episode, right around the conclusion of this video, what it would take in tons of gold to find underwater to cure us of this $22 trillion debt. Well, a ton, as far as I can figure, is worth $42,880,000. And I know this because I calculated it myself earlier. See, you know, I don't, I don't rehearse stuff like this. I don't. But basically, we would need to find, you know, we would need to find a lot of fucking gold. Lots and lots of gold. $22 trillion in debt we are as a nation. And a ton of gold is 42,880,000. So we would need to find over a half of a million tons of gold to cure ourselves of this national debt. We'd have to search far and wide for this gold. You understand? But basically, that's, that's basically what I'm concluding at this point. Have a good one.